The canals of Venice shimmered in the golden light of the setting sun, casting a magical glow over the ancient city. Gondolas glided through the water, their gentle movements creating ripples that danced in the twilight. The air buzzed with excitement as people from all over the world gathered to celebrate the art of cinema. It was the Venice Film Festival, a grand celebration of cinema, where filmmakers and actors alike come together to showcase their work. Amidst the glamour and flashing cameras, a familiar face stood out. Lena Endre, her smile soft yet captivating. At 69, her presence radiated a quiet strength and wisdom, a testament to her enduring talent and grace. She wasn't there for the spotlight, but for a film close to her heart. Quiet Life, a project that resonated deeply with her. In the film, Andre embodies a complex character, bringing to life the struggles and triumphs of a woman in a challenging role. She portrays an official tasked with the difficult job of processing asylum applications, a role that demands empathy and resilience. It's a role that challenges perceptions forcing viewers to confront the human cost of bureaucracy and the emotional toll it takes. Andre doesn't shy away from the tough parts. Instead, she dives into them with a fearless dedication. She embraces them, adding depth and nuance to a character grappling with difficult choices, making her performance unforgettable. Quiet Life is a film that whispers rather than shouts, drawing viewers into its delicate narrative with subtlety and grace. It tells the poignant story of a Russian family, driven from their homeland by political turmoil and the harsh realities of an unstable government. They arrive in Sweden, seeking refuge, hoping for a fresh start in a land that promises safety and new opportunities. But their journey is far from over. The path to a new life is fraught with challenges and uncertainties. They face a mountain of paperwork, endless waiting, and the cold indifference of a system struggling to cope with the influx of refugees. The film is a collaboration, weaving together talents from across borders, showcasing the power of international cooperation Directed by Greek filmmaker Alexandros Avranis, it was filmed in Sweden, Finland and Estonia, capturing the essence of each location. This international spirit is at the heart of the story, reflecting the global nature of the refugee crisis and the interconnectedness of our world. Quiet Life is a poignant reminder that these are not just headlines, but human lives, filled with dreams, fears, and the hope for a better future. For Lena Endre, the film's themes resonate deeply. Her own family history is intertwined with displacement. During World War II, her father and grandmother fled their native Estonia. They made a perilous journey across the Baltic Sea, seeking safety on Swedish shores. They arrived in 1944, carrying the weight of their experiences. This personal connection informs Endre's performance. She understands the longing for home, the uncertainty of starting anew. It's a legacy that has shaped her worldview, fueling her empathy for those forced to flee their countries. In quiet life, she brings this understanding to the forefront, giving voice to the voiceless. The Venice Film Festival is a whirlwind of activity, flashing lights, red carpets, and a constant hum of excitement. For Lena Andre, it was a brief but meaningful visit. She was there to support Quiet Life, to stand alongside the cast and crew. Her presence, though fleeting, made an impact. Andre didn't seek the limelight. She let the film speak for itself. But her presence spoke volumes. It was a testament to the power of storytelling, 
to the importance of shining a light on difficult issues. Even amidst the glamour, her humility shone through. Section 5. The Curtain Doesn't Close Life After Retirement For many actors, retirement marks the end of an era. But for Lena Andre, it's simply a new chapter. While she's stepping down from her role at Stockholm's Royal Dramatic Theatre, her passion for acting burns bright. She's not ready to leave the stage entirely. There are still stories to tell, characters to embody. Andre's retirement isn't about slowing down. It's about choosing her own path. It's about embracing new challenges and exploring different avenues of her craft. She's a testament to the fact that age is no barrier to creativity. In many ways, it's just the beginning. Section 6. New Chapters. Upcoming Projects. Lena Endre's schedule is far from empty. In fact, it's brimming with a variety of roles that highlight her incredible talent and dedication to her craft. She has a string of exciting projects lined up, showcasing her versatility and range. From dramatic roles to light-hearted characters, Lena is ready to take on any challenge. She's set to grace the small screen in two television series, Trollosa and Tordiveln, Flieger I Skimningen. These series promise to be captivating, with Lena bringing her unique touch to each character. Each role offers her a chance to delve into new characters, to explore different facets of human nature. Whether it's a complex emotional journey or a simple, heartfelt story, Lena immerses herself completely. But her heart also belongs to the stage. The immediacy and intimacy of live theatre continue to draw her in. She's returning to her roots, taking on a new play at the Royal Dramatic Theatre. This prestigious venue has always been a significant part of her career. It's a homecoming of sorts, a chance to connect with audiences on a personal level. The energy of a live audience is something Lena cherishes deeply. Andre's passion for storytelling is infectious. She loves engaging with her fans, sharing insights and experiences from her journey. She draws you in, making you laugh, cry and feel deeply. Her performances leave a lasting impact, resonating with audiences long after the curtain falls. Section 7. A reunion of titans. Andre and Skarsgård. One project stands out, shimmering with anticipation. A new film directed by Joachim Trier. Set in Oslo, it sees Andre reunite with Swedish acting legend Stellan Skarsgård. Theirs is a partnership forged in talent and experience, promising a cinematic experience that's both powerful and nuanced. Andre and Skarsgård play characters with a shared history. They've known each other their entire lives, their paths intertwining in ways both profound and mundane. It's a relationship marked by intimacy and complexity, the kind that can only come from a lifetime of shared experiences. Section 8. The Enduring Flame. A passion for storytelling. Lena Andre's career is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. From the stage to the screen, she's captivated audiences with her talent and authenticity. She's not afraid to tackle tough topics, to delve into the depths of human emotion. Her performances stay with you long after the credits roll. There's a quiet strength to Andre's presence. She doesn't need to shout to be heard. Her performances are nuanced. Her emotions understated yet powerful. She understands the power of silence, the eloquence of a single look. It's this ability to convey so much with so little that makes her such a captivating performer. Section 9. Lena Endre, An Unfinished Legacy. 
Lena Endre's story is far from over. Her retirement from the Royal Dramatic Theatre isn't an ending, but a beginning. It's a chance to explore new horizons, to embrace new challenges. She approaches this next chapter with the same passion and dedication that have defined her career. Andre's legacy is one of talent, integrity, and an unwavering commitment to her craft. She's a role model for aspiring actors, a reminder that age is no barrier to pursuing your dreams. Her story is an inspiration, a testament to the enduring power of the human